our minds are very scattered average human beings level of attention has reduced to such a level that 6 seconds and he or she is gone if you become great at certain asan but your mind is not you've not cultivating a yogic mind the harmony is out so first practice you build is to power to concentrate and second practice you're building of the observation concentration which is basically attentiveness we call it one pointed attention this being attentiveness on one point let's call it concentration is the first step of meditation it is not the meditation in itself but this is the first step because currently if you see the quality of our minds are our minds are very scattered we could be sitting here but mind is somewhere else very scattered our capacity to be attentive at one point for a longer duration of time is very low you know instagram you know you have instagram right now the new research is saying that your content on instagram should be very captivating in first 6 seconds right if it's not then you lose the audience what is the issue here the issue is they are studying that average human beings level of attention has reduced to such a level that 6 seconds and he or she is gone dangerous it is telling you that our ability to concentrate on one thing beyond 6 second is becoming difficult which means our minds are really degrading every day if the mind is degrading or if it lacks the power to concentrate how will meditation happen or how will anything else happen so concentration is the first step where we are trying to expand our level of concentration and for an example you know we have this meditation called tratak do you know tratak meditation yeah some of you so let's say we we light a candle and we ask you to keep looking at that what are we doing in this process because it's a doing meditation yes it's a doing meditation but what we are doing through this doing is expanding our power of concentration and making sure that we move beyond the 6 seconds so can i be concentrated on one single point for let's say 48 seconds if i ask you can you concentrate on one point for 48 seconds actually you cannot 48 second is what a great yogi can do <laughs> otherwise 3 4 5 second and boom a thought will come and take you away try that huh? <laughs> try that tonight when you sit for your meditation just see how many seconds does it take for you to get distracted you will be shocked so 48 second is quite a benchmark if you can achieve 12 seconds it's a great thing you you really somebody <laughs> 48 is you are a yogi i'm talking about seconds huh? not minutes <laughs> right so that's the first step of meditation and this you can do every day every moment zack you you're listening to me you're watching me can you be very concentrated on this now which means you are in meditation already you're practicing meditation so that's the first part of it the second part of it when we say that sit still don't move and sensations are happening now we are doing another layer of meditation now what we are saying become conscious of whatever is happening in your body become aware of that but do not interfere right now if i'm having an itch while talking to you let's say here now one thing is i itch do the itching here now i've got involved i've interfered but i'm practicing of sitting still then i'm observing and witnessing there is an itch i'm watching that and in that watching you will see the itch will disappear it will take practice so now you've built another practice so first practice you build is to power to concentrate and second practice you're building of the observation i am observing i am witnessing i am conscious of whatever happening in the body 
then you take it to the next level now you're just not aware of what is happening in the body now you're also aware you're expanding this awareness of what is happening around you but you're not interfering there's a sound coming off some insects it's in the zone of my awareness but i'm not going to that sound my zone of awareness is this much so right now i'm only aware of my body as i practice this more my zone of awareness starts to expand my vessel of awareness starts to expand and then a moment comes when your doing becomes non doing on day one it will not happen a moment of transition will come when inwardly as if a higher intelligence is speaking to you will come and tell you enter into non doing now and now you will just sit that's all and everything will start to become meditative your talk will start to become meditative the way you eat your food will start to become meditative the way you walk will start to become meditative everything because your vessel ha- is constantly growing the meditative vessel i would say there are two again two processes here number 1 if you actually close your eyes and locate the headache you will most probably be able to locate it somewhere either the frontal side back center of you number one you will be able to locate it two if you start to if you want to heal it and if you start to do the yogic breathing towards that point in the head soon it will start to go away the headache will start to go away of course there are other reason are you well uh, hydrated etc etc right but this is this technique works but first process here is can you locate it with your sharp concentration with your sharp awareness can you first locate it so that's number one then the headache is happening i've i've located it and i'm not just sitting it's in my awareness i'm not doing anything about this i'm not interfering because i know it has come it will go on its own that's how basically life everything is all pains would come like this and go like this you take medicine just for the feel good factor even if you don't take medicine you know we say if you have cold if you take medicine it will take 7 days if you don't take medicine it will go on its own in a week's time so yeah. <laughs> you know it's like that it's like that i'll just tell you the science of it what we are doing in this process we first locating and then we are sending more of our prana urja prana energy into that zone because if if a point is hurting there is less prana urja there the prana energy is low there we just trying to make it more richer by the prana and then it will take care of itself so you don't need to eat medicine so with that zack what starts to happen let's say my we understand that you are not just this body alone you your mind also you your breathing also and you are this nature also as we say five elements right you're all of this and of course you are prana your energy and of course you are atma also you understand atma um i'm not very happy with soul <laughs> yeah but atma huh? let's let's call it soul right now you're all of this and if you i mean if somebody has an issue an ailment mental or physical and if you take a medicine an allopath medicine for that matter allopath medicine does not understand that you're five elements you five elements you know that right allopath does not understand that you are energy also yeah. allopath does not understand that you are prana also and allopath does not understand you are part of this nature not separate from it correct yeah. if you know this science and if somebody has a specific issue we bring all of these things together and heal you basically we don't do anything this whole ecosystem heals you for an example just to give you a practical example if you if your gut is weak let's say your digestion is poor right so we tell you just three things 
A start to walk barefoot. Let the microorganism from the soil enter your system. Your gut is wanting that. We ask you to start to keep fast. And we start to sit in the sunlight. And within three days, you will see the impact of this. But it is not as simple as I'm saying. There are a lot of other protocols that we've we've discovered and we put you on those protocols. And healing happens at an atomic speed. I'm saying atomic speed. And doctors are all get shocked. What is happening here? Yeah. It's a deeper harmony. Mm. That's the essence of all of this. That's the essence of life actually. Yeah. Till the time my breath and my prana is harmonizing with the breath and prana of the universe, I'm alive. The moment this harmony is off, I'm gone. That's the principle of life. If you become great at certain asana, but your mind is not, you're not cultivating a yogic mind, the harmony is out. So now, things will not go the right way. Yeah. So this and this and this need to be harmonized. Once these three are harmonized, then that gets harmonized. Yeah, that I'm saying the higher power, the cosmic power. You call it God or whatever name you want to give it.